So now I'm going to be recording. Um, so for everyone, maybe some people are just tuning in. I know there's a few. Spy inside day up or down tomorrow. We want to know about that. Q's inside day, same deal. It's going to be closer to negating the week. So if things are strong, Q's could be stronger, which tells you tech and semis. Uh, if we go to the Dow Jones, slight hammer on the day, which would be PMG. We'll see. It's 322 week and four still. So we'd prefer that it keeps going down, but that will either get confirmed or negated by the day. Uh, and then we go to IWM. You'll see still a 322 week in force, slight poke up day. So if they're going to triangle out and keep puking for the weekly magnitude, you'd come through all this stuff. PMG 222 to the downside, confirming that week. Uh, as far as setups go, we will see on the inside day list, Home Depot. Inside day at the bottom of its broadening formation, lows, double inside day, either up or down. We could fill the gap or we could go through some pivots with the two two weeks still in force, confirming the Dow Jones and that type of stuff. Um, if we go to Netflix, if things are strong in the technology slash QQQ, inside day either up or down. You can see it went inside down yesterday, puke. Now inside bar hammer could go inside up PMG. And you will have NVIDIA with full time frame continuity inside up above that 141.32 slight three pivots to take out, which gives you, you know, three bucks a range. And when we're talking about this, don't normally go through it on the nightly videos. But for example, let's say NVIDIA breaks inside up tomorrow, 141.32. We'd probably use a strike of around 142, 142.5, depending on what's available. Yeah, so we'd use the 142 strike. It's trading at 60 cents. Now, that 142 strike, if we go in the money, we'd have 142 right here. So if we go in the money and we hit our pivot target, it will be worth 240. So that could be like a 4 or 5x tomorrow, depending on how fast it does that. And whenever we're talking about setups, that's how we want to think, because this would be the three pivot targets we'd be going after. We are, you know, up at the all-time highs, so we're going to be aware of that. If we go to the macro stuff, you'll see the inside month PMG did what it was supposed to, and now we're trading the same setup just, you know, on a daily time frame. It's the same thing. Um, what we saw today that was really cool is the whole market gapped up today. And what that tells you is go after things taking yesterday's lows because anyone doing that still is a loser if they tried to buy the close yesterday, and that will be things like IBM which did puke a little in the morning, just, you know, mother bar 60 pretty much the whole day. And then NEM, oh man, murdered. <laughs> Here's your po poke up, your poke down, poke up, and then gap down shooter pivot machine gun. They just <laughs> obliterated these guys. Look at this. 12% today. So crazy stuff. And you can see you don't have to be that first one in even in the morning here. If we drop it down. You can see there's the momentum 15, we measured move, and then they're just down and off to the races. Really cool stuff. But they got killed all day. Notice this continuity, just down, down, and down, and down more. And if you go to the week, you'll see how that works. Gap up, sell, and, you know, they go after it. And now it looks something like this on the weekly basis. So does that get bigger or not would be the question. Uh, if we go to... Car, another good example of this today. Notice gap back through previous range, which is good. Nowhere near reversing back up. And we go to the week. That's a 2-2 week in force when the gap occurs. Go to the month. That's a potential three, which gives you a magnitude down into here, 68.31. So they just got wrecked today as well. If we go on the 60s, you can see it did mother bar a little bit. And then 2-2-2, two, 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 and they finally got out of it. Uh, we'll have the four hour inside. Since there's little bit off of the lows at the close. So we'll see if that continues tomorrow. If we go to other things that we were trading on the gap list this week, Triple M. Sadly, on this day, there's so many good gapper setups, which we can take a look at. But Triple M uh, went gap up sell from exhaustion risks. So notice the poke up, poke down, poke up, and then gap sell, poke down. It's what we look for. We had the nice 225ers in there, which some traders in stat trading did get that. But we had the three two day yesterday and they followed through with that today. They're already an outside month giving you the two go three. Uh, so we'll see if that continues going into next month. Maybe it goes three two if they want to keep it going. Uh, we got about a week until then. If you go to LRN, this is another good one. Look at this. Boom. Everyone's short. I think there's like 18% short interest or 14% of the shares traded were short uh, somewhere around there. And then gap up. All those shorts have to buy to cover and they're just still going. So. You'll see today we closed outside of the try. That's triangle expando. If till that reverses, it could get a lot better for any longs in there. 
So we're definitely gonna keep an eye on that. You can see they've just been up and up and up all day, both days here. If we go to a lab today, we did not put the nightly vid out last night, but we mentioned the 322 four hour was setting up and you can see 322 and they take the highs out on the day going 332. So this broadening formation now expanding, which gives us inside week momentum measured move. So we're looking for about another $14 and this confirms a 122 rev track quarter with a magnitude to move about another $23 this quarter till, till 2025. So we definitely want to know about that one as we get into the end of the week here. Uh, if we're above what 70, 72, I'd like to know about that for continuation. And if we go to like a two hour or a three hour chart or something, you'll have the inside bar. So we could play that tomorrow uh, to continue. If we then take a look. Yeah, if we go to T-Mobile today, it's another example of what we look for. Here's the three, two, and it, do it does so on earnings, which is the more important part. So when an earnings occurs, and it goes and opens flat. Uh, there's a specific name for it. It's like a IV flush is what I believe NASA on Twitter coined it. But what occurs is since it opened flat, whoever bought options into those earnings, they get out of them and it causes re-hedging or like positions being closed by the dealers. So let's say you've been buying T-Mobile all year and then this earnings report is coming out. You might buy puts to hedge your you know multi-million share shares position. So if you buy a ton of puts, the dealers to sell you those puts, they have to short the stock and they have to do some other things to balance those positions. So right at the open, if it opens flat, all the all the puts get sold for pennies. So the dealers make all the money and then they close out all their hedges that they put on those puts, which can add fuel to the fire when things open flat, which is something we love to see. So you see it opens flat in the morning, but it opens as three, two up. And pre-market, we talked about the fact that when a three occurs and then we open as a two, it's either going three again or it's two expansion. It's it's either those two scenarios. It can't go sideways because now it's resolving up or it's getting countered to resolve lower. So when it opens red to green and then they are just up and gone. And then this morning, there was the inside 15 momentum, which they triangle out and then the two, two 15 and then off to the races the rest of the day. So pretty cool stuff. Um, if we go to T, it was the same trade, which actually should be on the inside day list here. And this is going to be on the gappers and you'll notice it did not gap, but it was with earnings. So. We'll have the same type of measured move, the two, one, and then maybe another two on Friday. Um, but you'll see earnings opens flat in the morning. So all the positions get closed and then we trigger our signals, gauge the magnitude, and they just explode. Uh, that earnings move comes out right at market open, which is the funnest or most fun ones to trade. Uh, that being said, we haven't looked at any of the hammers or anything yet on the nightly stream here that we're doing for the stat members. So we're going to take a look at those next. So it looks like there's 67 hammers and I'm going to filter by spread this time to remove some since we know eBay is a shooter. I kind of want to keep those uh, smaller cap names in there. It's like eBay, which is going to be a 2 on 2 reversal and it would confirm a 3 2 week. We just don't got too much else to go after besides these lows down in here, but they could keep the puke on puking. And we will whittle that list down as we get to it. FTNT, you can see inside day going into, or inside week going into a Friday, so we prefer not. Unity. That'd be inside day momentum with a rev strat week, still an inside month. So, you know, there's a chance this triangle goes expando. We'll see, it looks something like this. So maybe it goes expando tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's up to the trader if you're going to play that momentum. WBA. That one's been puking, still an inside a week, but really red. So they're definitely selling this week. Maybe 
you get the measured move of this selling. So notice the inside down starts the sell, inside down would confirm it, try and take some of these guys out, maybe cause some more problems. So $9 stock, so personally not my cup of tea. Looks like the biotechs went inside day with the potential weekly magnitude. So it's going to be closer to doing that, which would actually re-trigger the monthly rev strat after triangling out on the day. So you can see they took the month down and then 2 2 PMG, then they reverse inside down, 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 trying to re-break it. So maybe that inside day does. We'll see. I didn't see many biotechs on the list when we looked at the inside bars. CNC in the health cares. So that's from Strat Attack. We finally got some signals to play on that. And this one's got some nasty PMG in here. So on the quarter, we'll see if that 322 day works. We're going to start coming back through some of those quarterly lows. So that'd be the 322. If we go to Gen, it's a 3 2 week, would be a 1 2 2 rev strat, still a 2 up month. I kind of have a odd inkling or odd feeling playing the 2 up in red month. For some reason, I'm, I don't know, I just don't like playing that. I'd rather play the 2 2. It's kind of how I feel about it. Let's see. Wow, this thing's going sideways for a minute, eh? It's not a bad setup though. You got Rev Strat to confirm a 3 2. It's just Doji weak at this point. If we go to RMD Healthcare's, oh, there it is. Poke down, poke up, which gives you the triangle outs. I think that's a slight higher high. Let's see. No, it looks like it's equal highs, but same problem here. So just draw it right to left, like so. So poke down, poke up. It would be a 2 2 week back down. Still a two down month. So you got some sellers in here this month. Not the worst thing for a lot of Friday. I'm just not sure about the spreads on that one or if they even have weeklies. Yeah, they do not have weeklies. So, meh. ROP. Already hit its weekly magnitude. Already an outside month. Maybe. Meh. Starbucks. <laughs> These are the three two twos we're looking for, by the way. Poke down. So we had the gap down by Starbucks, Rev Strat, one three, and then three two two below that, ninety six eighty eight, could cause them some problems if they want to go and reattack uh those gapper traders down there. So Starbucks, that's not a bad one for tomorrow. And what I'd say is like when you're playing Lotto Friday, you know, it might take a couple days to get down there unless the sellers really come in full force and we gap it down on Friday and, you know, everything's coming in. Uh, so we're not going to expect 93.69. If that happens on a Friday, awesome. But I'd want to go after like a 96.5 or a 96 put just to be able to capture a gain, even if it doesn't fully get that magnitude on a Friday. Does not mean it can't happen, though. You can see these buyers and sellers are pretty aggressive, so... If we go to, yeah, the 90, wow, the 96 puts trading at 20 cents. So if it does puke, you know, those could go almost, they'd be going over 10 X. But we'll do 26 slash 27 put for Lotto Friday. Pretty solid setup. If we go to the week, the week is already a three. So it is a broad information. The month's still a one. So the fact that the month's a one tells us the buyers were not strong enough to take these guys out, which tells you potentially these sellers can counter them, right? Maybe. Uh, go to upstart. Still an inside week. Uh, real estates. A little bit of a shooter. Still an inside week. eBay, we already looked at that. Zoom. Zoom's one Sarah's been trading, so, you know, probably going to get some profit taken in here on Friday. I bet she already closed it out. Wouldn't be surprised, but we'll see. Uh, if 
Well, it's already ones we've looked at, so nothing else to really add there. I believe we already looked at the hammer list. It's mostly the inside days that are hammered. I know Google would be 322 hammer if things do recover. And you know I want to look for 322 specifically here. Yeah, same with Meta. Meta would be a 322 if it tried to recover as well. It is pretty red on the week, but coming from exhaustion risk. Month is still a two up, so it's conflicted. It's the only issue there. Same with Google, though, it'd be, both be conflicted. Yeah, we got three two twos up and down tomorrow, so those will be fun. Uh, and then three ones. I actually haven't scanned this very. I don't don't scan it very often, but I want to see what's in here. SWKS. Ah, the quarter two, two, two. So that's a pretty good looking quarter. Now we'd prefer that inside day down to start attacking after these guys, 89.09. And yeah, you got a lot of pivots down here in SWKS to take out. Look at that. It's a pretty good looking swing trade, to be honest here. The only thing is I prefer we enter after triangle day out instead of just right off of the continuation. If things are firm tomorrow, especially in the tech, MCHP would be 312 pivot machine gun in the ships. That's really about it. That's the only interesting one I see in there. Uh, that being said, though, that is about all I've got for everybody tonight for the video here. If you are in stat trading and you're in the chat right now, now's the time if you want to end it answer or ask any questions i can answer those but that's gonna be it tonight for the nightly vid so adios there and i'll see you guys bright and early in the morning if you're in stat and if you're not i'll see you guys in the weekend vid